Yo guys, Mystic here and today we are back with another 7 days to die alpha 19 tutorial and today I'm going to be teaching you everything to do with firearms in alpha 19.5 Now, if you do go on to enjoy this video make sure you do leave a like on this video subscribe if you are new here turn on post notifications you can notify whenever I upload next also follow me on Twitter there will be a link down in the description that is just so you get notified whenever I go live or I post another video on YouTube got a lot of information to cover today so let's get straight into it okay so in seven days to die there are seven types or classes of firearms in uh, in the game right now that is our pistol class we've got one SMG which I've just included with the pistols we've got the shotguns the machine guns the hunting rifles the rocket launcher and then we've got the bows and the uh, crossbows so there is three types of uh, tiers for each weapon except for the crossbow. So we have the pistols which would start off with the regular one. We have just the normal standard pistol. We then move up to the 44 Magnum and finally we have the 44 Desert Vulture. And for the SMG we just have the, uh, there's only just one SMG in the game. Then for the shotguns we have the blunderbuss, we have the double barrel shotgun and then for the both of the tier 3 weapons of the shotguns we either have the pump shotgun or we have the auto shotgun. Now these are the top two weapons in the shotgun class but the auto shotgun I would put in its own tier just because it outshines the pump in mostly every category. Next up we have the machine guns and first up we have the AK, then we have the tactical assault rifle and next we have the M60 machine gun. Then for the snipers or the hunting rifle class we have obviously the hunting rifle first, we then have the marksman rifle and then we have the sniper rifle. And for the rocket launcher there is only one and it's just the rocket launcher. Then for the bows we have the primitive bow. We then at level 2 have the wooden bow and finally have the compound bow. And for the crossbows we either have the iron crossbow or we have the compound crossbow. Now to craft the pistol what you will need is 4 handgun parts which you can either find uh, while looting or by the trader, 10 forged iron which you'll just craft yourself, 2 duct tape, 5 scrap polymers and 2 spring. For the 44 Magnum you will need 5 handgun parts, 10 forged steel, 3 duct tape, 10 scrap polymers and 5 spring. For the Desert Vulture we will need 6 handgun parts, 20 forged steel, 3 duct tape, 20 scrap polymers and 6 spring. Now as you can see with each of the levels going up you will need more uh, parts and more uh, materials to craft them because they are better weapons. So. You just keep that in mind because most of these weapons they will be late game if you are going to craft them but most of all mostly you will just find them while looting for the blunderbuss all you need to craft this is four short iron pipes two pieces of glue and six bits of wood for the double barrel shotgun what you'll need is four shotgun parts ten forged iron two bits of duct tape ten scrap polymers and two springs for the pump shotgun, what you'll need is 5 shotgun parts, 15 forged steel, 3 duct tape, 20 scrap polymers and 3 springs. And finally for the auto shotgun, you'll need 6 shotgun parts, 30 forged steel, 3 duct tape, 40 scrap polymers and 4 springs. Next up for the machine guns, we have the AK which you'll need 4 machine gun parts, 10 forged iron, 2 duct tape, 10 scrap polymers and 2 springs. For the tactical assault rifle you will need 5 machine gun parts, 10 forged steel, 3 duct tape, 5 scrap polymers and 3 springs. And for the M60 machine gun you will need 6 machine gun parts, 20 forged steel, 3 duct tape, 10 scrap polymers and 4 springs. For the hunting rifle you will need 4 rifle parts, 10 forged iron, 2 duct tape, 10 scrap polymers and 2 springs. For the marksman rifle we will need 5 rifle parts, 15 forged steel, 10 duct tape, 20 scrap polymers and 10 springs. And for the sniper rifle we will need 6 rifle parts, 30 forged steel, 
10 duct tape, 40 scrap polymers and 12 springs. And for the rocket launcher, you will need four rocket launcher parts, 20 forged steel, three duct tape, five electrical parts and three springs. Now for the primitive boat, all you'll need is eight wooden planks, or just eight wood and three plant fibers. For the wooden boat, what you are going to need is four bow or crossbow parts, 20 wood, three leather, two glue and three duct tape and for the compound bow what you are going to need is five bow or crossbow parts 25 scrap polymers five leather five duct tape and 10 springs for the crossbow you'll need four crossbow parts 15 forged iron three duct tape three leather and 20 wood and for the compound crossbow you'll need five bow slash crossbow parts 15 forged steel three duct tape three leather and 20 scrap polymers now firstly we are going to go on to the perks now for the perks of the pistols you need to go into your agility tree and you'll need to go to your gunslinger perks now at level one this is uh, your no white erp but you're better than the average drifter craft quality two poor handguns and deal 10 percent more damage five percent faster fire rate and fire rate and 10 percent faster reload with handguns and you unlock pistol crafting now you can buy this straight away you will not need to put any uh, points into your agility attribute now at level or tier 2 you'll need your agility to be level 3 and what this does is you'll make a name for yourself outlaw craft quality 3 fair handguns deal 20% more damage 10% faster fire rate and reload 15% faster with handguns now at tier 3 sheriff you will need your agility at level 5 and what this does is you can now craft quality 4 poor handguns or quality 4 good handguns sorry uh, deal 30% more damage 15% fire rate and reload 20% faster with critical damage 5 successful hits in a short time causes critical damage at tier 4 which is gunfighter which you will need to have your agility at level 7 you know, a gunfighter can clear out a saloon full of rowdy bastards at the drop of a hat. Craft quality 5 great handgun steel, 40% more damage, 20% faster fire rate and reload 25% faster. And with the critical damage, 4 successful hits in a short time causes the last shot to do 100% extra damage. Now at tier 5 which is gunslinger, you will need to get your agility max out. You're the fastest gunslinger in Navasgain, deal 50% more damage, 25% faster fire rate, 30% faster reload with handguns, and the critical damage is now down to 3 successive hits in a short time, and the last shot does 100% damage. Now these perks include the handguns and they also include the SMG because it also uses the same kind of bullets that the uh, pistol uses. So if you're going to be using strictly pistols and SMGs or they're your favourite kinds of weapon class, this is the perks for you. Now for the shotgun perks, you will need to go into your strength tree and at tier 1 shotgun hobo, uh, what this does is maybe your aim isn't so good or you just like doing a lot of damage up close and personal. You need to your hobo with a shotgun is not to be messed with. Craft quality 2 poor shotguns. Deal 10% more damage, 10% faster fire rate, and 10% faster reload. And you stun enemies for 6 seconds. And you have a... Increases the chance to dismember by 5%. You can unlock the doorbell shotgun crafting. So with this, you are able to buy it straight off the bat. You don't need any uh, uh, perks or tiers in your strength tree. You can just get it straight off. Now at tier 2, which is shotgun nomad. You can craft three fair shotguns, craft quality three fair shotguns, should I say. Deal 20% more damage, 20% faster fire rate, and 15% faster reload. And you have a 10% chance to dismember, but you will need to get your strength to level 3 to unlock this. Tier 3, which is shotgun pro, you need your strength tree at level 5. And with this, you can craft quality 4 good shotguns. Deal 30% more damage, 30% faster fire rate, and 20% faster reload, and you stun enemies for 8 seconds. And at tier 4, which is Shotgun Master, you will need your strength tree at level 7. And what this does now is you are able to craft 5 great shotguns, 
quality shotguns, deal 40% more damage, have a 40% faster fire rate and a 25% faster reload with shotguns. And at tier 5, which is Boomstick, if you don't get the reference, watch uh, Army of Dead, because that's where it's from, Ash, from Ash, which you will need your strength at level 10. And what this does is you've ascended to the legendary status of Shotgun Messiah, as you are the last thing they see before meeting their maker. Deal 50% more damage and have a 50% faster fire rate and a 30% faster reload and leg shots cripple the opponents. So, if you are using shotguns, which you most likely will be because shotguns are one of the best, or if not the best weapons in 7 Days to Die with the auto shotgun, you need this perk. You need these perks all the way up to max tier because that leg shot is very, very good if you're doing hordes nights and you've got them all in one lane and you can just absolutely slay through any zombie. So yeah, if you're using shotguns, try and get this one all the way up as fast as possible because it is very useful. Next up, we have the machine gun perks which you'll need to go into your fortitude tree for. You need to go into your machine gunner perks. Now at level 1, you spray and, spray and pray is your thing. Craft quality 2 poor machine guns, deal 10% more damage, 5% faster fire rate and 10% faster reload. And this unlocks the AK-47 crafting. Now you can unlock this at Fortitude Tier 1. You don't need any points into your Fortitude, you can get this straight away. Next up we have Gorilla. Pretty sure that's how you say it. Don't if it's not, I'm sorry. But yeah. So with this, you can craft quality three fair machine guns, deal 20% more damage, have a 10% faster fire rate, and 15% faster reload. And you'll need your fortitude at level three to unlock. A tier three, which is the soldier. You'll need your fortitude at level five, and what this does is it craft. You are able to craft quality four good machine guns, deal 30% more damage, 15% fire rate, and 20% faster uh, reload. And you have commando adrenaline. Each shot scored with automatic weapons gives you two stamina. So if you didn't know, if you are aiming in and firing with any firearm or weapon in the game, it actually takes stamina away from you. So with this perk it actually becomes a little bit easier to gain stamina if you get swarmed or if you, get, if you need to move and you've been aiming down sight. So getting it to at least tier 3 is very good for the uh, machine guns. At tier 4 which is special forces you'll need your fortitude at level 7 to unlock it. And what this does is you can craft quality 5 great machine guns, deal 60% more damage, 20% faster fire rate and reload 20% faster and each shot scored with automatic weapons now gives you 4 stamina and at tier 5 which is machine gunner where you'll need to get your fortitude to level 10 you are now the ultimate machine gunner deal 50% more damage 25% faster fire rate and reload 30% faster and you now gain 6 stamina with each shot scored with automatic weapons so like I said before on each one if you are gonna use the m60 machine gun which is the best tier of machine gun you want to get this to tier 5 and get your force dude all the way up so you can be slaying with that weapon next up we have the rifles section now if you go into your perception tree you'll need to go into your dead eye perks and what this does is is a pot shot you can hit the broad side of a barn and deal 10 percent more damage with rifles craft two poor rifle craft quality two poor rifles sorry Aim and reload 10% faster and you unlock the hunting rifle crafting. Now like all these at level 1 you are able to just buy it straight off the bat. You don't need to put any points into your perception tree. Next up at tier 2 we have riflemen. And what this does is you can craft quality 3 fair rifles. Deal 20% more damage, aim 20% faster and reload 15% faster. And you'll need to get your perception tree to level 3. At level 3, which is Marksman, you can craft quality 4 good rifles, deal 30% more damage, aim 32% faster, reload 20% faster, and use 10% less stamina while aiming with rifles. And the perk with it is Kill Streak. And what this does is successive kills increase damage bonus by 10, 20, and a maximum of 30%. So that means if you're just killing zombies 
back to back to back on Horde Knight, you will be doing more damage with each bullet that you do. And for this, you'll need to have your perception at level 5. Now at tier 4, which is Sharpshooter, you'll need your perception at level 7 to unlock it. And with this, you can craft quality 5 great rifles, deal 40% more damage, aim 45% faster, and reload 20% faster and use 20% less stamina while aiming. And the kill streak damage bonus is now going up to 20%, 30%, and now 40. And at tier 5, which is Dead Eye, where you'll need to get your perception to level 10. What this does is you can now deal 50% more damage, aim 60% faster, and reload 30% faster with uh, rifles, and now use 30% less stamina while aiming. And the kill streak damage bonuses have increased up to a percentage of 50. So if you're going to be using sniper rifles or anything like that and you want to get the most out of them, put all your points into Dead Eye because that is where it is going to be out for you. Now for the rocket launcher perks or any explosive perks that you will be going to be using, you need to just stay in that perception tree and go to the demolitions expert. And what this is, it specialises in explosive weapons to stun, cripple and dismember your foes. So at level 1, what you can do is increase the damage by 10%, reload speed by 15, aim 10% faster, and you have a 50% chance to stun enemies and a 5% chance to dismember, or a greater chance to dismember. You can now craft pipe bombs, pressure plates and cooking pot mines. And you can unlock this straight away, you don't need to put any points into your perception. At tier 2, which you will need to have your perception at level 3, you can increase your damage by 20%, reload speed by 20% and aim faster and aim 20% faster. You have a 100% chance to stun enemies and a 10% greater chance to dismember. You can now craft dynamite and hub cap landmines. At tier 3, which is explosives handler, which you will need to get your perception up to level 5, you you your damage has increased by 30%, your reload speed has increased by 25%, you aim 30% faster and have a 33% chance to cripple enemies and a 20% great chance to dismember. You can now craft grenades and more efficient stacks of gunpowder. At tier 4 which is Rocket Man, your perception will be at level 7 and with this your increase is it increases damage by 40%. Reload speed by 30, aim 40% faster, have a 66% chance to cripple enemies and a 30% greater chance to dismember. You can now craft high explosive rockets and anti-personnel fragmentation rockets. And at tier 5 you are a demolitions expert and with this you make things go boom in a big way. Increase damage by 50%, reload speed by 35 aim 50% faster and have a 45% great chance to dismember. Stun lasts longer on enemies, craft time charges, contact grenades and air filter landmines. So with this if you're going to use the rocket launcher, I don't really use it too much but if you like it and you want to get it all the way up, Demolition Expert is the perk to go to. Now for the perk box with the uh, rifles, we have the automatic weapon handbook. And at volume 1 you have damage, shoot to kill and let God sort them out. It's you or them in combat, so you and it might as well be them, so your automatic weapons do 10% more damage. At the uh, volume 2, your fully automatic mode does 1% damage per hit unless you miss. At volume 3 you have your automatic weapons have a 20% less degradation, so they don't break as easily. At tier f it's volume 4, sorry, you can now craft drum magazine mods for automatic weapons and turrets. So this is just you can hold more ammo, obviously. At volume 5, you have fully automatic weapon fire is more accurate with each shot fired. Volume 6 is fully automatic mode has an increasing chance to ragdoll an enemy with each hit. And volume 7 is you can now craft the M60 machine guns. And if you read all 7 of these volumes, each kill boosts your run speed by 20% for 20 seconds. Now, for your pistols or your uh, 44 guns, actually, we have the Magnum Enforcer box. Now, at volume 1, you do 10% more damage with your 44 guns. At volume 2, you have take 5% less damage while wearing a suit. At volume 3, you have the last shot in the chamber does double damage. Volume 4, you have bartering with a gun gives you a 5% better deal. Volume 5 you have, you can now craft a 
AP44 Magnum, Magnum Ammunition. Volume 6 you have, you can now craft HP44 Magnum Ammunition. At Volume 7 you have Sprinting with a 44 gun in combat, uses 20% less stamina. stamina. And if you read all 7 volumes of this, all shots with the 44 ammo penetrate enemies and you can bulk craft all the ammunition for it. Now for your pistol, you have the uh, pistol peaked volumes and with this 9mm weapons have a 20% more range when sighted or scoped in. Volume 2 you have each successive leg shot increases chance to cripple. Volume 3 you have a more accurate when rapid firing 9mm weapons. Volume 4 you have pistols and SMGs degrade 20% slower. Volume 5 you can craft uh, HP 90mm ammunition. And at volume 6 you have, you can craft AP 9mm ammunition, volume 7, increase, inflict 10% more damage with 9mm weapons overall. And if you read all of them, you now get the perk which is powder burns, shots fired at point black, ignore armour and you can bulk craft the ammunition. Now for the bows we have the ranger's guide to archery box, and with this you can retrieve 20% more arrows. You can craft exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. You can now craft. You can uh, leg shots now slay your opponent. Sorry. Uh, you can craft armor piercing steel arrows. You can craft flaming arrows and crossbow bolts. The bows degrade twenty percent slower. Sneak attacks have a twenty percent greater chance of not down. And if you read all of them, you can now bulk craft arrows and bolts. Now for the shotguns, we have the shotgun messiah box. And what these do is shotguns do 10% more damage. You can now craft breaching ammunition used to breach security. Targets within a 3 meter range have a high dismember chance. Uh, you can now craft shotgun slugs. The shotguns degrade 20% slower. You can craft a shotgun magazine tube mods. Targets with full health take 20% more damage. And you can now one shot most wood blocks, bulk craft all shotgun ammo. If you read all the books, that is the perk you get. And the rifles books, we have the sniper books. And what these do is weapons do 10% more damage when using a scope. Leg shot cripple all but the strongest enemies and have a chance to dismember. Headshots have a chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. The reload 10% faster with rifles. The zooming uses less stamina. You can craft AP 7.62mm ammunition. You can craft HP 7.62mm ammunition and then you can now craft a ghillie suit and bulk craft all the 7.62 ammo. And now for the ammo. Now there are mainly three different ammo types for all the firearms and for the pistols, SMGs, the machine guns and the rifles you have three different types of ammo. You have, well not the 9mm, you just have the base ammo for each weapon, which you can craft in a stack of uh, 300. Then you have the HP ammo, which is the ho the hollow point. And what this does, it basically, it just increases the base damage of the ammo. So they have a range damage of 41, and yet you can have target armor, which is 100%, it does 3 block damage. So instead of the normal ammo, it basically just does a lot more base damage. So if you're using Horde Knights, I'll craft hollow armor, hollow point ammo, sorry. Then we have the armor piercing ammo. Now what this does is it gets rid of 20% of the target's armor. It has a plus 30% to degradation. It has a 32 range damage, target penetration of one and a block damage of eight. So with the some of these zombies that you will be fighting have armor, this is where you'll need to use the armor piercing rounds as the hollow point does not do anything to armor, it will not do anything to it whatsoever. So the hollow point is for base zombies that don't have any armor, it literally just increases the damage and that's it. And if you need to kill zombies which have armor, you use the armor piercing. Then for the shotguns, we obviously just have the normal shotgun shells, which have a damage, 11 damage per pellet, 10 pellets, they target 40% plus armor. And then next up, we have the armor piercing slugs, which just like the uh, armor piercing bullets, they uh, you want to use these on the zombies that have the armor 
If not, they are basically just more or less useful than the normal shotgun shells. Then next up we have the shotgun breaching slugs and what this does is you'll use this to get into doors or just to break wood as it has a uh, plus 1000 to door slash wood damage. This is mainly getting into houses and breaking doors down. Next up for the bows and the crossbows you can craft a stone version a stone arrow or a stone crossbow bolt you can then craft a iron arrow or an iron crossbow bolt you can then craft steel arrows or steel crossbow bolts next up you can craft flaming arrows or flaming crossbow bolts and finally you can craft exploding arrows or exploding crossbow bolts Okay, so I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, and if you did, please make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you are new here, turn on post notifications so you get notified whenever I upload next. This has been Mystic, and I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.